In the world of lacrosse, there are few names bigger than John Grant Jr. The 38-year-old has won every major championship, scoring title, and most valuable player award at every professional level. He's done so not with just talent, but with sheer will and determination, battling countless injuries along the way. Blown my ankles three or four times each. Both shoulders are, uh, are completely gone. Broken tibia, uh, broke four or five of my fingers. My elbow, which I uh, completely blew out when I got sick. Uh, seven knee surgeries, I've had a back surgery. And uh, last season I played the NLL uh, a quarter of the season with a broken sternum. Despite this major injury, Grant was still able to accumulate 116 points, which is a new National Lacrosse League record, and he was named the league's MVP. And I just love lacrosse and I love to win, and I think the challenge of winning gets harder and harder, especially at my age, but I just love to play the game, and it seems to be able to block out pain. And this summer, Grant was again at his best, helping lead the Peterborough Lakers to their fifth Man Cup in nine years. Fans may not realize that John Grant may have gotten a second lease on life, as four years ago, a terrible infection not only put his career in jeopardy, but also his life. They called my, you know, my wife and my family from out of town to come because, you know, they weren't sure I was going to make it through the night. I was in the hospital for almost 40 days and, uh, you know, lost 40, 50 pounds and they basically didn't think I'd be able to play again. But, you know, through perseverance and some good training staff here in Peterborough and, uh, you know, where I've, wherever I've been, I was able to continue. The thing is, Grant's career hasn't just continued, but it has flourished. And he still believes he has some more winning left in his 38-year-old legs. No doubt John Grant will go down in history as one of the most decorated and successful athletes to ever come out of Peterborough. There's been so many tremendous athletes come through this city that, I mean, the list is too, too long to even mention. But, you know, if someone would like to say that, I mean, it's, it's a flattering thing to hear. But, you know, as I said, I'm just going to continue to bear down and play as much as I can and try to do this city proud. It's, uh, you know, it's a great place to live and I'm proud to call it home.